Hello and welcome. I'm Paula Misen and you're watching Hornbill TV special report on Budget 2023 Explained. As we all know, the budget for financial year 2023-24 to 24 had been presented by Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman earlier today. That is the 1st of February 2023 in the Parliament at New Delhi. This is a first of its kind financial budget introduction where she appeared carrying the important digital tablet concealed within a Bahi Khata style pouch to promote the BJP government's signature initiative that is Digital India. Interestingly, Sitaraman became the sixth finance minister to present the union budget five times in a row. The previous budget's groundwork and the plan created for India at 100 are intended to be expanded upon in this budget. The budget adopts the seven priorities, that is inclusive development, reaching the last mile, infrastructure and investment, unleashing the potential, green growth, youth power and financial sector to guide India through the Amritkal. Every resident of our country looks forward to the income tax lab, which is a very important component of the budget. In a big announcement, the budget 2023 enhanced the new income tax regime by declaring income up to rupees 3 lakh that is exempted from income tax. Also, people making up to rupees 7 lakh are exempt from paying the income tax thanks to a rebate. She also denoted it as the default income tax regime and streamlined the taxation system. The finance minister adhered to the fiscal deficit path outlined in the budget, setting a target of 5.9% for financial year 2024 and maintaining the objective for the current fiscal year. The union budget also listed the goods that will be getting cheaper or pricier in financial year 2023-24. to The commodities slated to become cheaper are mobile phones, televisions, lab-grown diamonds, shrimp feed, machinery for lithium-ion batteries and raw materials for the EV sector. The commodities expected to become costlier are cigarettes, silver, compound rubber, imitation jewellery, articles produced from gold bars, imported bicycles and toys, imported kitchen electric chimney and imported luxury cars and EVs. As a result of an outlay of Rs 2.4 lakh crore being granted for railways in financial year 2024, the budget Allocations for railways saw a significant increase. It is about nine times more than the allocations for financial year 2014 and is the largest allocation for railways ever. Some of the other main attractions of the budget 2023 are effective investment spending of the central government, which was increased to Rs 13.7 lakh crore with the capital investment outlay to be 3.3% of GDP in financial year 2024. Defence budget was increased by 13% and under a pan-Indian program, direct benefit transfers within three years would be implemented to give stipend assistance to 47 lakh young people. Also, the pharmaceutical industry will be encouraged to invest in research and a new program for pharmaceutical development will be initiated. Agri-startups by young entrepreneurs will be supported by an agriculture accelerator fund. Among the nine states going for polls in 2023, Meghalaya, Mizoram and Nagaland have more than 85% tribal population, whereas Chhattisgarh and Tripura have more than 30% tribal population. In the union budget 2023-24, to Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has earmarked Rs 15,000 crore for tribal affairs. This is at least five times the amount that was announced last year. The tribal population throughout states, especially those in the northeast, is the focus of the budget schemes and announcements made today. The Prime Minister's particularly vulnerable tribal groups development mission will be initiated to saturate PBTG habitations with basic services in order to improve the social economic status of the particular tribal groups. Budget 2023 will be the last full budget of the Modi government in its second term with the next Lok Sabha election due in April to May of 2024 and we will be able to observe over time how effective the budget introduced today will prove to be for the nation. With this we have come to the end of our special report that is Budget 2023 Explained. For more updates keep watching Hornbill TV.